the UK Prime Minister and the United Nations Chief have announced that the UK will host a COP26 launchpad event on 12 December 2020 to mark the five-year anniversary of the Paris Agreement. The 2015 Paris Agreement aims to combat climate change and to accelerate and intensify the actions and investments needed for a sustainable low-carbon future. In the three years following the Paris Agreement, the IPCC researched and published a report on the impacts of global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Fundamental to this study was that human activities have already been estimated to have caused approximately one degree Celsius of global warming above pre-industrial levels. This belief that the global average temperature had, by 2018, already risen by one degree Celsius is repeated in the document. If this belief is incorrect, then many of the report's conclusions are also incorrect. As a service to the COP26 launchpad event, we will therefore calculate the exact value of the increase in global average temperature. For this calculation to withstand scrutiny, it is essential that we use standard IPCC definitions and an IPCC approved source of data. This is the gold standard definition of global warming. It is defined as an increase in combined surface air and sea surface temperature averaged over the globe and over a 30 year period. And warming is expressed relative to the period 1850 to 1900, which is used as an approximation of pre-industrial temperatures. The same definition is provided in the summary for policymakers. For complete clarity, when we are measuring how much global average temperature has changed, the start point for the measurement is the average over the 1850 to 1900 period. This is known as the reference period and for the IPCC it approximates to the pre-industrial global average temperature. The end temperature to which global warming is measured is the average over any selected 30-year period. The increase in global average temperature is therefore the average of the 30-year period minus the average of the 1850 to 1900 reference period. Having established the definitions, we turn to the data. NASA uses these five sources of global average temperature data. From the five, we will use the Hadley Center data as it is in fact the only data source that covers the entire period 1852-1900. The IPCC uses the same data source. This is the graph for the full period 1852-2019. The Hadcroft 4 dataset holds data that is anomalous to the period 1961-1990. We have adopted the convention of showing that period with a red dotted line. And again, for clarity, that means the average anomaly for 1961 to 1990 is by definition and in fact equal to zero. So what is the average anomaly for the period 1850 to 1900? This is the data. The average global temperature anomaly is equal to minus 0 0.311 degrees Celsius. The next step is to ask, what is the average anomaly over the most recent 30 year period? That is 1990 to 2019. The global average temperature anomaly 
for 1992-2019 is 0 0.449 degrees Celsius. We can therefore say that global warming is 0 0.76 degrees Celsius. As a control, we also refer to NOAA data for the same period adjusted to be anomalous to 1961 to 1990. The global average temperature anomaly is 0 0.467 degrees Celsius. Using NOAA data, therefore, Global warming is 0 0.778 degrees Celsius. The conclusion of our analysis is that the likely range for global warming, as at the end of 2019, is 0 0.76 degrees Celsius to 0 0.778 degrees Celsius. But where does this conclusion leave the COP26 launch pad event? Statements such as this have been specially prepared for such events. But this claim exceeds the calculated global warming by around 25%. And this likely range has an upper limit that exceeds the calculated global warming by around 50%. So, where this leaves the COP26 discussion, perhaps only the IPCC and UNFCCC can say. One last thing, there is still the question of how much global warming is caused by human activities. This will be the subject of our next video.